line. Oh, your Yes. Oh, my race line. The, well, you do not know of our race line on your planet. It is not one that is readily available or that we, we make ourselves known to you, but it is the Kalashin. And your people do not know of us. We do not interact with very many of your species. We are first dimension. Yes. And we live near, we are in the Pleiades, but we are not Ple what you would consider Pleiadians. We are far behind. If you look at the Pleiadian sky, we are far behind that in another galaxy beyond the Pleiades. Yes, I have. There's been, but they have not been on Earth. I have not spent a life on the Earth since, the, since before Christ was born. But we did spend some time in Orion together. We did spend some time in Alpha Centauri area together. We also spent some time in the south part of the sky. That would be the Pleiades at this point. In Centaurus. Yes. Yes. It was me. Yes. Yes. Yes, I spent some lifetimes on your planet in its very early years, but not in its later development. After a certain... Yeah. Yes, it was a very long time ago that that happened. But, yes, and also we are from the first creation, but the second seeding of Earth, yes. Yes, it was a wonderful and marvelous time, actually. Yes. You were in a mermaid form. The early forms of the mermaids on, the, on this planet were actually more human looking than the ones in present. The ones that are presently on Earth look more like fish, but they still have the human face, but they are not as, do not look as human as they used to. They have uh, evolved over the years to look uh, actually, a little more fish-like. The Ceres, yes. It, it had a longer name than that. It was the Ceres Conchon. The Ceres Conchon race line came from the area of the sky that the dolphin whale species area, uh, dolphin and whale continuum comes from. I do not know what else to call it. They call it, yes, yeah. yes. I did not know that you were aware of these names. Yes, they are, they are a very special species, much more special than people would imagine. They, yes, yes, that is correct. Yes, yes, and you both could speak the trinary language. The trinary language is that Many words are spoken at once through a sound, making a sound. As you know, the dolphins make sounds, and they speak many words at once, and that is why it's not been able to be, be dissected or learned by your people on your planet, is because they speak so many words at once, they are not aware that the dolphins and whales can actually speak a, tri, a trinary language. Yes. Yes, yeah. yes, because there is much information from one sound made from a dolphin or a whale or a mermaid, there can be much information transmitted, much information. Well, it is, yes, it is the kind of a language that when is intercepted by another is intercepted different spatial parts of the body intercept the sound waves and this is how they are telling what the words are saying because you know different frequencies will hit at different times so therefore this is how they know what la what the language is saying they are they learn their alphabet through the entrance of the sound that is moving in many yes there is a more advanced species of dolphins and whales that is in Andromeda area and not in the Pleiadian area. There are Pleiadians and Andromedan uh, whale councils and dolphin councils, but um, they speak similar languages. 
but there is a more advanced language in the Andromeda space area because it is older, but it is not the one that's in contact with the Earth at this time.